This is what you need to know about starting an epinephrine drip. Your patient's blood pressure is crashing, and you're sweating because this drip is the big gun. It's one of the most serious pressors that we have. Epinephrine is a two-for-one medication, and here's how to translate its effects into two simple steps for your next shift. Step number one, the pressor's power. Well, epinephrine is a strong alpha-1 agonist, which means that it clamps down on the blood vessels. That technical jargon just means it squeezes down your blood vessels in the body. This is the primary reason we use it in septic shock. It's to stop that extreme vasodilation that's occurring and making your patient hypotensive. Think of it like turning a floppy garden hose into like a pressure washer. Step number two is that it's a heart helper. Now, it also has a powerful beta-1 agonist. This makes your patient's heart rate and contractility go up. So you'll see a spike in the heart rate and you'll see a spike in the squeeze that your heart has. Watch out for tachyarrhythmias and myocardial ischemia as you go up on the titration. So the next time you hang that epinephrine drip, remember, it's not just a heart drug, it's a pipe squeezer and a heart helper as well. It works together to reverse that deadly shock. Like and favorite this video for when you need it the most on your next shift.